probably wondering why you're here. This, this is why you're here. Bye. Sit down, Teddy. How long is this going to take? I told my girlfriend I'd take her to Anne Summers. Your girlfriend's a slut. Only with me, if you know what I mean. Enough. This is a serious matter. <laughs> this monstrosity. <laughs> this monstrosity Jesus. has been plaguing our school for three weeks now. Popping up in places and terrorising our students. And do you believe the culprit is one of us? Bang on. Now, no one leaves this room until I find out which one of you is the root of my biggest problem. Wow. You have it easy if your biggest problem is some Jesus egg showing up in random places. It's probably the only thing that hasn't ended up in your girlfriend's knickers. <laughs> hey, hey, consider yourself lucky that I'm a feminist and would never call a woman a bitch to her face. <laughs> wow, how very feminist of you. <laughs> Whichever one of you was, just fess up now and stop wasting our time. Please. Well, I didn't do it. I'm an atheist. Yeah, but that makes you more likely to do it. Whatever. It wasn't me. Whatever. It was someone. So listen to Alex, admit it, and let's be on our way. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Me neither. Right, so we've established it was none of us. Can we go now? No. Not yet. It must have been one of you. Why, why us? Your timetables are the only ones that overlap the places that this egg has been found. I doubt. The egg has been found in the art studio, the science lab, Hall B and the gym. All of these places are regularly visited by all of you, no? If we did this, will we not put the cheese egg in places that we don't regularly go? I don't know, you tell me. I am going to leave the room now, and one of you will be held accountable. You decide. If no one confesses, you will all be punished. I'm bored now. Just tell us which one of you did it. Dude, I think it's safe to say it was none of us. I've never seen that thing before. Dude, don't call me dude. Oh, you don't like that dude. No, dude. Dude, stop. Come to think of it, I've never seen this G's egg before. How many of you have seen it? Well, I don't know what to do then. I'm supposed to be on a date right now instead of I'm missing it for this nonsense. Ooh, he's the lucky guy. She's called Ruby, and it's our third date. She's great. Is she pretty? Stunning. I'll show you a picture if whoever did this confesses. Tell you the truth, friends, I do this one actually hilarious. <laughs> oh gosh, yes, I forgot how hilarious my time being wasted is. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. The prick has locked us in here. Wait, can you do that? Whether he can or not, he has. What now then? Wait till Mr. Barr comes back, ambush him, and make a run for it. Oh, Eve, tell us more about Ruby. I guess we've got time. She's pretty, she likes the Beatles, and she's the drummer in the band. Ringo isn't even the best drummer in the Beatles. Oh, just stop talking, mate. Anyway, she's wonderful, really. I really hope it goes somewhere. We'd love that for you, Bessie. If you are late, do you think she'll believe the reason for you being late? <laughs> I haven't really thought about that. I bloody hope so. Speaking of, we really should get to the bottom of this. Does anyone know who it could have been besides one of us? I mean, Amy in my philosophy class likes to pull pranks. This could be her doing. I doubt it. She told me last week that dinosaurs never existed, that their bones were put there by Satan to test people's faith. Oh yeah, I forgot she was in that... religious. Who else could it be then? I don't know why he thinks it was one of us. He doesn't. Hear me out. Remember last year's prom? Oh no. What? What happened at prom? The four of us thought that it would be really funny to the silly string Mr. Parker's car. To be fair, we were right. You silly stringed his car? 
God, I completely forgot about that. You don't think... No, never mind. What, Daria? You think he's getting us back? I wasn't there, so it can't be. If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, surely. We left a note on his car thanking him for a great year and we put all our names on it. <laughs> and Alex thought it'd be funny if we put your name on it too. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. <laughs>